Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to Jerry's Projects. Today I made a little video. I just want to show you some of the projects I've been working on. I got some amazing work by a designer called Sanix at malix3design.com. Oh, here's an Iron Man I just printed. I didn't print this all at once. My CR10 couldn't handle the size. It's printed at 150% with silver Tyantz PLA that I got off Amazon.com. I normally use Hatchbox, but I've been buying a lot of Tyantz lately. The price is cheaper and it's been printing really nice. So once I get this model all cleaned up, then I'll prime it and I'll start painting it. But I thought I'd share it with you. I had a few supports break on the base when I was printing it, but it, it didn't hurt it at all. The base was printed in one piece. Um, Iron Man's body was printed in multiple pieces. And when I laid them out on my print bed, unfortunately, I, as I posted on my website, I uh, ran out of PLA and one of the feet never got completed. It had about another, I don't know, inch to go and I ran out. So I decided to go ahead and reprint it. And here's a piece in question right here. I got right down to the very end here and I ran out of PLA. It's got 10% infill in it. And then I didn't have enough supports here by the waist when it was upside down. So, you know, like I said, I just chose to reprint the whole part. It took probably seven or eight hours to reprint the part. I prefer to print my models in pieces versus uh, all at once. Because if something breaks or goes wrong, you lose the whole print. If you print in pieces and that doesn't happen... You know, let's say you're printing a head and a body and some legs, and the leg goes bad, but you still got the other parts finished, and they're printed fine. Once you're done, you just reload the one part on the print bed and just reprint it. But anyway, this is Iron Man, like I said, printed at 150% size. I wanted to show it to you. It's just really awesome. And over the 3D weekend, Sanix had a 50% off sale. It was really cool. All of his uh, 3D prints were all 50% off. And let's see, we've got Catwoman here. She's also done at 150% scale. Had a problem when I printed her. I printed her at all one piece originally, and one of the supports broke. My nozzle hit one of the supports, and her arm wasn't printing properly, so I aborted the print. And then I reprinted her in pieces and glued her together. But she came out looking really nice. Punisher, this is really super cool. He's already been primed, waiting on paint, but he is really cool. This is very large. It's also at 150% scale. He's got a bag load of guns there, some machine guns. This is really cool. And Goro. I started painting Goro a few weeks ago, but I haven't finished. I just keep moving on to different projects, tinkering on different things, and I haven't quite finished any one thing. But he's coming along real nicely. He's also done at 150% scale. He's from Mortal Kombat, as you know. His eyes are red. So. Let's see, Cyborg, Batman. Here's Cyborg. Once again, done at a hip 150% uh, scale. 10% infill. I'm not that good at painting, but I'm slowly learning getting better. And here's the bat, which I refer to as Batman. Let's see Aquaman. Aquaman. He resembles a character from the new movie that's coming out. He's also done at 150% scale. Whenever I print these, I just go on a Google pictures of the character online, and then I pick and choose from the costumes I like, do or don't like, and then I print them off that. Here's a Hulk that I just finished last week. I got him off of Thingiverse. He was a free file. He's printed in four sections. You got the the pants and the legs, the chest and head, and then the two arms. Then I glued them all together. And he's also been clear coated. 
when I finish all my models, I you know I feel what I'm done with them. I take some clear um, automotive clear coat and I paint them. And this is Tam Posla from a Star Wars story. There's a free file files online that you can find. You can download this. He's a character from Rogue One that was never in the movie. I believe it was Rogue One, one of the new Star Wars movies. And I guess he never made it in the movie, but at some point I'm sure he will. And he's printed at 200% scale. I have a video on YouTube which is talking about this model and it shows the time lapse of it. And there's also a link where you can download the files and print it yourself. But this is done at 200% scale. Here's a diorama of Groot and uh, Rocket. Came out really nice. This was designed by Sanix from uh, malik3dedesign.com. If you like this, you can buy it and print it yourself and paint it. Joker here. He's printed at 150% scale, 10% infill, silver, tyants, PLA also. I think his legs are a little skinny for the model, but he looks great. And here's what happened with Catwoman I was talking about a minute ago. I got her printed when the print was getting up here right around the bottom of her elbow. It was printing in midair basically and it screwed up the print so I stopped it there. I figured I'll keep this. She has some nice features. Maybe I can set a pot on it or something. I don't know. Do it. Use it for something. My vape pipe. And this is my paint station over here. I'm not sure if you can see it. But I've got quite a few paints. My wife does a lot of painting there and I do. And then I have two CR10s, a blue and a coffee, and that's what I call them, blue and coffee. And they're both working on different parts of the helmet that I'm printing right now. And my new uh, camera here I'm using, it's, uh, what is it? I wrote it down. Logitech Brio webcam. I have this on my other computer in another room, and I haven't been in there, a green room that I have. But I plan on doing some mixed reality videos, but I haven't made any yet, so I moved the camera out here and I'm trying it out with OSB, OBS Studio. So this is my first video with the new camera. I thought I'd give it a try. And anyway, I guess that's about it for now. I just wanted to share with you guys a few things. And I you know, hope you liked the video. And it was a nice meeting all of you. And I started a Facebook group called 3D Printing and Tinkering. If you'd like to come check it out. You know, if you have any kind of a project, it doesn't have to be 3D printing. If you build something at home, if you're painting, if you're gardening, uh, building a house, working on a car, whatever it might be. If you want to share your pictures and come join our group, you're more than welcome. I would love to have you. And uh, I guess that's about it. So, you know, thank you, you guys. Oh, and here's a mascot. My sister gave me this, and he's going to be my uh, mascot for my YouTube channel for Jerry's Projects. I'm not sure what I'm going to call him yet, but he's going to be the mascot. He'll wave goodbye to you. Okay, see you guys. Take care. Nice meeting you. Thank you.